Hello, I'm here again with Robbie Robinson. Hi, Robbie. Hey, what's so. up? How are you? Great, awesome, are we? Um, I have a question. If I want to go on a travel journey, what can I eat when, when you travel? Do you take your food uh, with you or are you eating in restaurants? How are you doing that? I've always been wanting going and believing in preparation, you know, and timing of everything. So what I try to do if I have to make a trip like I'm on my way to Nashville, Tennessee to do guest polls and, and um, seminar, you know, Christian and Answer seminar. So I'm, I've already been thinking ahead of time you know, what I'm going to do. I'm going to get me you know, a nice li bag of rice cakes, a uh, small jar of probably cashew butter as, as my snack. I'll prepare one meal, probably beef with shikashi mushrooms and tomatoes and a scoop of rice. Uh, I'll probably do the same thing twice. I, by the time I get to where I'm in Nashville, you know, there's things already set up so I can go out and start preparing my own food. Are you eating in restaurants? And uh, if you do so, what what uh, are you ordering? Can you give a few examples? Probably very few restaurants in Los Angeles that I actually go and visit. I'll go to a place like up in the Santa Monica Mountains, the end of the Seven Rays. I will go to Out of Asante, which is in Brentwood. What I'll do is I love to cook my own food. See, that's the most I guess successful part of my life and my career as I've gotten older. I like to prepare my own food. So I buy basically everything I get from the Wednesday market. And this lasts me for probably about a week. And that's how I prefer to eat, you know, naturally organic, beef, chicken, um, turkey, you know, fish, you know, uh, jasmine rice, baked potatoes, yams, a lot of veggies. And I follow that cue, you know, you know, 365 days a year. So I really believe that that's why I look today as, as close as I possibly can back in the old day. So you think it's a good thing if I prepare me a fruit salad or I take some nuts with me, um, boiled eggs? Yeah, I, I think it's always to go on there prepared, you know. Or uh, that could be a delay in the flight or, you know, you, you need that extra calories to keep your body lubricated with, you know, nutrients. So what I try to do is make sure I prepare myself. I probably get up on the day before I leave and eat an earlier breakfast mm -hmm. and then go back and do my work on the computer, make my posts on Facebook and Instagram. And then I might lie down again for maybe an hour or two, get myself on the oxygen tank to prepare myself for the flight. But I do everything in the preparation. I think the better you do that, the more in tune and connected the body cells and the mind become one as one. You know, well. If I invite you um, to a restaurant and you don't know the place, can you give me uh, something I have to be conscious about? If I go in a restaurant and I get the card, what would you choose? Can you? I'll be honest with you, I'm very, very cautious. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't like people preparing my food, really. I don't prepare my own food because, see, I know what I'm going to put in. <laughs> I'm a little skeptical about somebody else preparing my food because I worked in the kitchen. I was a cook at one point, and I've seen how they treat the food. If you bring it back or it's not right, you know, they get a little kind of attitude. So I try to make sure eat at home, prepare it myself, and I select a restaurant that I'll go to and eat. How important is water on a flight? Very important. I think you should be drinking at least about a liter before you even get on the flight. First thing in the morning, drink a liter. That way the body cells are rehydrated. Um, it speeds up your digestion. I definitely believe it speeds up your digestion because you can't just eat and then don't drink at some point. I say 30 to 45 minutes after I eat. I always try to have you know, 16 ounces of water before, 16 ounces of water maybe 30 to 40 minutes after it. So I do believe that still bleeds one of the reasons of rehydration. I think that's probably one of the reasons I'm still one of the most muscular, if not the most muscular man in the world at this point. Do you um, refill the body after a flight? So are you drinking consciously more? I'm drinking consciously more to hydrate yourself because you do dehydrate on the flight. Mm -hmm. So I prefer water is what make muscles grow, but after water, you can take ton of growth home and steroids is not going to happen. Water is your whole thing. It's just a love for the body. It's the positivity for the body. So I feel that everything that you do positive to the body is going to reflect itself. I have another question. What sure. do you think about this um, smoothies, this juices? It, I think it, it, you can have that, but you, I'm not the kind of person that like to do those kind of things. You know, 
I can say occasionally having something like that, but I definitely think, you know, whole foods, sorry. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can eat on a vegetarian diet, but your body's going to be missing some items that they need really to build muscle and grow and sustain the strength or whatever, but you can't just go total vegetarian. Mm -hmm. You need some form of protein, bean protein, especially lentils, red, white, green, French, I mean, string beans and potatoes. You have to have some beef, some chicken, you have fish, you have to. I mean, the body's going to really can't take care of itself. You need to feed it the right nutrients. And the more the right nuisance your body is absorbing, that's why I look the way I look today. People can serve whatever they want. So if I go on a travel um, journey and I have no food with me, and um, would you suggest me to eat a banana or I, I buy me? If I would definitely buy me a selection. If I couldn't get that meal yeah. in, I would have selection of pieces of fruit. Banana, okay. Apples. I mean, if you can get some grapes, some rice cakes, things like that, I think they will sustain you, stabilize your whole metabolism, the metabolic process, plus the, the muscle building process. But if you don't do something, the body goes in to start eating on the cell. Yeah, or I saw that at the airport that you can buy nuts in a little bag, yeah, for example. Yeah, I think you definitely, cashews, pecans, walnuts, I mean, uh, 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 was it almond, I think you should have it. A couple of those or a container of those even on the flight it hits suppresses insulin so I, I believe that you should always try to do whatever you can for this this is a machine mm -hmm. what you feed is going to determine what it look like how strong you are how motivated you are what your desires are your love and positivity if you're not really applying that your body just can't do it on its own you have to educate the body visualize it think about it and build that connection mind body soul create success. So I will never um, meet you at a fast food restaurant. That nah. will never happen. <laughs> no, never, never, never. I might make my own. <laughs> but you can't. Fast food restaurant. I, might, uh, I don't want to make any yeah, uh, marketing. I, 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 and I, I've, I've never eaten pizza. I don't eat pizza and cookies and cakes. And or ice cream. cheeseburgers. I mean, to each his own. I mean, if you like that stuff, have it. But, you know, in my seven or three years and probably the last 45, 50, I have a little dose. I don't get sick. I don't have clothes. I don't get the flu. So it's like all these different diseases. I, I really think being healthy has been my forte. I've always wanted to be healthy because when I was a kid, I was always sickly with the sickle cell anemia. So now I've gotten myself where I feel comfortable. Um, the last semester I've been taking a product called Sickle Cell Life. And that has really pushed me over the edge. I'm stronger, more muscular. I got a better clarity. I can or look at something and have a better, being able to write it all the way through instead of keep going back and looking at it. So I know that this product is actually helping me become better. I think a major problem of the society today is um, overeating what I observe, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good topic because that's what people do. They overeat. You don't need all this. I look the way I look because I have measured amounts of nutrients. Mm -hmm. All the nutrients that my body consumes it's like atomic fuel for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I keep myself hydrated. You know, I eat when my body says I'm hungry. You know, if I eat up to a certain point, I always eat up to a certain point. If I don't feel I need to go any further, I stop myself. Okay, but a lot of people just keep eating. And I don't think cheap eating is going to build a muscular, strong tone to see. Yeah. I think under eating a little bit helps the body burn more calories, burn more fat. You help your body build more muscle. You're speeding up the whole process so the body can't help but grow. I can't help but look the way I look. People can say steroids, I'll say hard work, longevity. I have not stopped training since I've been alive. I eat, I do my aerobics, I have my moments where I just relax and I rest, but I'm so positive and happy about what I've been able to achieve at 73 years old. Because at my younger age, because of the sickle cell, I had become almost taken over by anxiety and fear that I would live to become 24 years old if I keep being sickly like this. But I built my body up, thank God Jacqueline helped me, he had an inspiration to myself, my mom. So in growing up in the environment, she, she set me in the healthy foods all the time. So it built my mind to where I am today. You are a role model for me for um, eating no sugar. And I think this is why you are young or you look very young. Yeah, I, I, I think sugar is the number one enemy. I mean, of our society, I, I grew up in a joke joint setting. 
and I saw how that sugar was just eating my people up. Mm. You know, even though that was our way of making a living, I saw what it traumatized to them. You know, the people that I grew up with in my neighborhood pretty much all day. Mm. And they or diabetes or, yeah, or diabetes something like that. Diabetes and heart disease yeah. and uh, liver and kidney diseases and insulin injections and, you know, all kind of craziness. So, so absolute, uh, the, the, the quote or sentence, you are what you eat, you is very you deep, eat. right? Yeah. It's very you true. You are what you eat, what yeah. you think, what you do, what decisions you decide to make, it's all you. You're responsible for yourself. Nobody can say, make you love yourself. You have to love yourself. I love myself, so if, yeah. if that means that I'm what you call it, what's the word they use out there? Or, or arrogant? Yeah, I'm arrogant if you're talking about taking care of yourself. Seriously. I think you are not arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> so it's thank very you. very positive, seriously. Yeah, thank you for your time and um, answering my questions and have a great day. Thank you, ladies. Bye. Bye.